Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of No TV, uh, your number one channel for all things cyber insurance related. In this episode we're going to talk about ransomware. We've spoken in it in a few episodes before, but we've actually had some uh, real actual activity, some specific activity with some of our clients that we'd like to share back with you. Hopefully it'll help you guys uh, give you some clues on what to look out for and prevent any trouble. So let's get into it. Thank you for uh, watching another episode of No TV. I think we're now eight episodes in. It seems uh, that uh, yeah, we're doing one pr pretty much every sort of week now. I think hopefully we're 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 getting more signed to the newsletter and we're hopefully uh, getting better at what we're doing. We're kind of trying to engineer it more with some of the feedback that we've had through some of our uh, brokers and clients. So today we wanted to speak about ransomware. It's a topic that I think everybody's talking about. It's getting a lot of press. And it's also uh, something that we've spoken about in earlier episodes. But one of the things that, that, that was interesting, something that we want to be a little bit reactive with through this kind of channel, is that actually we've had two incidences over the last couple of weeks that were very, very similar. And they were both ransomware attacks, both were unsuccessful. We were managed to uh, get involved with the insured and we were able to flag up and assist them in rectifying the problems that they were, they were up against. But quite simply, um, one of the, the feedbacks that we, we actually have had from some of our other brokers is that even though it's a very real attack, that not all businesses um, see the need or think they're vulnerable. And in both cases, these businesses, and I must stress, were non-digital related. They didn't sell anything online. They weren't involved with, uh, they weren't an e-commerce website. They weren't a digital, um, they weren't very digital at all, actually. From They were, they, they were very sort of um, traditional um, uh, and they were, they were longer standing. Um, sort of old sort of sector and uh, and, they, and they, they got hit and the way that the attack is happening is that what they're what the attackers are doing is that they're attacking companies via the HR department and the reason that we think they're doing that is that by attacking the HR department that they're, they're used to receiving emails from effectively what are complete strangers whether that's people trying to um, speak to them about a new opportunity coming to work for the company could be just something similar about um, a college placement, but lots of emails from strangers. And what's actually happening is that the the ransomware article, the email is being opened. It comes with a PDF and an Excel sheet. The PDF is, is, is quite benign, but it's actually the Excel sheet that contains the malware um, that the cyber criminals have, 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 have put in and imprinted there. That, so when the um, HR department click on it, that then starts the encryption. And the encryption goes through the normal then mechanics of uh, encrypting through the whole network, encrypting the files, and then asking for a Bitcoin payment. Um, and one of the things that, that we work very hard to do is that as much as we're there from an insurance standpoint to act as a trigger and to assist, the policy is certainly there to, to assist us that in the event of an actual problem that we, we really want to get involved when there's um, the ability to prevent. So we would much rather add value in that way, so helping you understand as the brokers and also the clients give them the tools and some resources through our um, product that helps them uh, look out for these sort of risks and prevent them. Of course we're there if it goes wrong and that's a trigger for insurance so um, th there's quite a few things that the insurance can do. I think it's uh, having the, the right settings if they're using Outlook or, or Gmail or one of the alternative um, websites and I'm sure your, your internet security people can assist you with that but it's also just education we give a lot of material out about helping um, insureds um, who are insured by us uh, to, to actually what to look out for, the type of um, things that they should be wary of, and just uh, being mindful of, of, of what they're clicking on. Um, and we do that through that through some of our webinars. We do that with some of our learning material. We do that with some of our um, sort of e uh, content that we that we put out. But uh, yeah, it's just something that we wanted to bring to your attention. It's something that we've seen quite a few. Um, events happen this week so be mindful of it um, and hopefully if you do have any concerns please come talk to us and hopefully we get to uh, speak with you and assist you soon. 